Hey everybody, on this entry of Weekend Rental, we're checking out Harmful Park on the PlayStation 1, a 1997 release uh, from Skythink System. A developer I don't think we've played much from, or I don't really know what else they did. Um, it is a shmup with a lot of, uh, well, three uh, very distinct mini games thrown in there. Um, the core shmup is, is a cute em ups uh, so it's not the hardcore variety of shmup, it's more friendly, has lots of cartoon graphics, uh, kind of visual gags built into all the, a lot of the enemies, and um, you're blasting through like these fantasy theme parks um, with your, you know, cupcake gun and uh, candy streamer laser blasters or jelly bean fists. Um, just a delight, delightful little romp through um, something called a harmful park that was created by an evil scientist. Uh, we played through the campaign, I guess, uh, the story mode uh, with cooperative play, and then we checked out all three mini games. So we gave it a pretty thorough go through, but we only played on easy. I'll, I'll say that. Um, but I think I'm going to turn it over. We're going to hop on to Verdicts, and first off, Neosense. Thank you, Filter. Uh, I have to admit, uh, I've played this game before. I spent a lot of time playing one of its three mini games, uh, and in adoration. Um, I love this game. It's a great game. It is everything that I want my shmup to be, in the sense that it is really short. <laughs> uh, I can keep continuing, and there's pretty much something visually exciting going on the entire time that you're looking at it uh that being said i mean if you wanted a really long shoot 'em up this is not it it's it, we uh mega man and i played through it in about 40 minutes i'd say uh, but otherwise so here's the thing there's a menu an options menu and deep inside of it there is a mini games button and then there's this mini game called punch ball and in its like vanilla version, it's maybe one of the just most just sweatiest games I've ever played in my life. And it's a true testament to two controllers, one PlayStation TV, just go nuts on the thing. Um, English, trans English translation and localization of this is very good. Big ups to the fans who did that. And it pushes it to a straight up five out of five for me. Perfect game, everything that a PlayStation 1 needs. But I will defer to Bomo for their opinion. Stop. Yeah, uh, I like this. It was very cool. You could tell it's like this game, at least the translation was definitely like a labor of love. Um, the color palette was bright and interesting. The music was cool. It was like eclectic and like just weird MIDI, which this game is definitely not afraid to be like really weird and I think when it comes to like shoot 'em up type games that's kind of what I like the most because the genre has kind of been done to death so I appreciate when the developers do things to you know switch it up and you know be a little unpredictable and so and um, yeah I thought it was cool there's like a little something for everyone the uh, the Mini games are super fun and, um, you know, throws a good variety in there. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this game for rent. But I want to know what uh, Filter thinks about this game. Yeah, uh, thanks, Momo. Yeah, like Neo Sense, I'd played this one before um, in an untranslated status. So it's really great to see it brought um, into light with English translation, I think the little story mode uh, cutscenes that happen, and of course having all the menus translated, just really rounds out the package, takes what probably would have been a 4 to a 5 for me. Um, Momo mentioned variety, this game's got variety, uh, that's like one of its main thing, it's got variety in different enemies, all the sprite work, um, you've got, you don't have that many repeated things uh, stage to stage, I think like each stage has almost completely unique enemy types, um, the songs, 
are eclectic. You have all these weapons at your disposal, four different weapons you can cycle through, um, which is completely different than like Parodius, which I'm, I'm familiar with and that's my preferred uh, format of Shmup as well, it's just the queued em up um, kind of variety type of game. But this one, I think it gives you those different weapons, which lets you engage with the game um, however you want at any point. And those mini games, um, that just adds to it, really. It, it, it uh, makes it like having an arcade collection on one disc, So, but it's a shmup. So it's very unusual and um, really adds value to just putting a disc in a PlayStation or a virtual PlayStation. Uh, we had played a lot of the arm ball, but I like the tank mode a lot. That high-res high uh, graphics they had with the like lasers bouncing off the wall and all the triangulation you had to do to try to corner somebody um, was pretty exciting, honestly. So there's a lot there if you, if you want to dig into it. Uh, what about you, Mega Man Man? Did you dig into this one? Did you dig what you dug? Oh, I, I dig it, Doug. Dig, Doug. I, fuck, I dug this thing so diggy. I, I lo yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I loved this game. Uh, I don't know what to think at first, uh, just because of the way that it presents itself. But then once you get into the game, it's like, oh, yeah. You know, this is this is a nice little side scrolling shooter. I'm dying a lot. It is actually a little difficult, even on easy mode for me. Uh, and I I played Ikaruga a bunch. I also died a lot in that game. But uh, yeah, as far as this one goes, uh, I did enjoy the variety of enemies that were in there. Uh, I only really gave it a four because the controls felt a little hair of a laggy to me. I pressed down. I wouldn't go down for half a second. Maybe that was um, the streaming side of things, but like dodging stuff kind of hurt sometimes. Couldn't couldn't even do it. Um, did appreciate the aesthetics, of course. The music, I think, is where this game shines. Pretty good. Uh, thank God for PlayStation's uh, ability to have voices inside. It really adds another level to the MIDI music that comes behind it. Um, but yeah, uh, real fun, real fun game. Uh, I really wish I would have seen some more of the upgrades weapons, like it's like level three or beyond. I didn't even get to know how advanced those pies could become or my ice cream laser. Uh, you know, what kind of destruction could I, I wreak upon uh, hateful park, harmful park. <laughs> uh, but I kept dying too much, and if you die, you lose your upgrades. At least for the weapons you die with. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it good. Um, but you know, enough enough about my opinion, uh, Mr. Dubs. I see. Uh, what what do you have to say about it? Hey, thank you, Mega Man Man. Uh, I'm a shmup fiend. I love shmups. And this game has some personality. It was really fun playing as co-op, something I don't usually do. And uh, I think the difficulty was about right for easy, especially on the later levels. Uh, it gets crazy, and it doesn't take itself seriously, which I like. And for me, the music was pretty good. Uh, the, uh, the game is worth its gold. Worth, worth its weight in gold. Maybe not over a hundred bucks gold, but it's pretty good if you got it because it's got mini games you can play with your friends, and those are fun too. I highly recommend it, or at least take a take a listen to the soundtrack. Bringing it back to you, filter. All right, yeah. Um, so all around high high marks for Harmful Park on PS One. Um, Definitely check it out on Old EC Bear if you can, or, or wherever, however you want to come across it. I would not really suggest buying it because it's a lot of money. It's very rare, actually. Um, but play it however you can. Oh, this thing for $4,000 on eBay for a disc. Just the, the, I mean, I guess it was the case too, but 4K. It was slapped. 